Let's take a look at all the different methods you can use to join a computer to an Active Directory domain. So the only requirements are that you need to be running Windows 10 Professional Enterprise or Education, say for Windows 11, and you also need to be on the same network as a domain controller and to be able to resolve uh, the domain's name. So the first way we'll look at is the classic way through the UI. We'll open up the system properties and you can do this by opening up the run dialog with Windows R by typing in systdm.cpl. And here we've got this change button that allows us to rename this computer or change its domain. And if we click on that, what we'll look, get here is the option to change the name of the computer, which you can do when you join it to the domain, and this option to select the name of the domain to join it to. So I'm going to type that in here. And when I hit OK, it'll prompt me for the user account that has permissions to join the device to the domain. And assuming I get those credentials correct, we'll get this nice welcome message here. So I'm going to click on OK. And it'll warn us that we need to restart the computer in order to apply those changes. And if I click on OK there, we get another warning at the bottom of the system properties dialog telling us to restart our computer. So it must be important to do so. so I'm going to click on close and oh, even another warning. So we'll go ahead and restart now. So we stop getting warned about it. All right, and before we run through the process of verifying that the device is actually on the domain, let's run through the remaining options of joining the computer to the domain. So the next option we'll look at is using the settings dialog in Windows 10. So open up the start menu, uh, click on settings. And here we're gonna look for the accounts option. So I'm gonna scroll down, there it is. On the accounts page on the left-hand side, we'll click on the access work or school option. Then we'll click the connect button here. And here at the bottom, we have the option to join this device to a local Active Directory domain. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And then it's gonna ask us for the domain name. I'm gonna type that in, click on next. It's gonna ask us for credentials that will allow us to join the device to the domain. And assuming I get those correct, we'll get this next option where we can add that account we used uh, to the local computer if we want. But for the sake of this demo, I'm gonna go click on skip. And that's gonna let us, we need to restart our, our computer. So go ahead and restart it now. So the next way that you can add a local computer to the domain is using PowerShell. So we're gonna open up PowerShell as administrator. So I'm gonna type PowerShell into the search bar and select the run as administrator option. Click on yes when prompted. And here we use the add computer command. And the only parameters we need to pass are the domain name and we'll give that here. And if we want to automatically restart, we can use a dash restart option. And you notice I'm not putting any credentials in here. That's because if I hit enter, it's gonna prompt me for them. And you can certainly pass them if you want uh, to the commandlet itself. And if we enter, it's gonna add it to the domain and restart automatically. Let's look at the next one. All right, so the next option we have is using the WMIC tool on command prompt. So we're gonna open up the command prompt as administrator. Click on yes if prompted. And then we can, it's kind of long here, but, but I can explain it. So we're, we're doing a WMI call uh, for computer system where name equals and then the percent computer, which is the, the name of the computer expressed as a variable. And we're calling the join domain or work group method uh, specifying the F join options of three. And this tells it that we want to join a, a domain. And then name equals the name of the domain, username equals the name of the user, and then password equals the password for that user. So these are the, this is the domain user that has permissions to add a device to the domain. So we're going to hit enter. You can see that it's going to attempt to join the domain. And in this case, return value zero is good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and restart this computer and it will be joined to the domain. And you can restart it from the command line using the shutdown dash R. And if you do dash T zero, that just tells it to do it right now. All right, let's look at the next option. All right, and for this last option, we're gonna use PowerShell's get WMI object commandlet. And, and this is gonna be very similar to the previous example, except it's, we're gonna be doing it through PowerShell. So I'm gonna run PowerShell as administrator. Click on yes if prompted. And here we're running the get WMI object command using passing the namespace in class. Uh, so this referencing the Win32 computer system and using the join domain or work group method and passing the domain name, the password, and the user account for the user. And then null and three. So that's just to, to pass some extra parameters for that method. And when we run this command, we're gonna get output similar as we got when we ran WMIC. You can see return value equals zero. 
And that means it was successful. And so we can go ahead and restart the computer. And in PowerShell, we can just use restart-computer. So if we connect to the domain controller, we can open up Active Directory users and computers to confirm that the computer was added. I'm gonna go ahead and run it as admins, good habit to be in. I'm gonna expand out my domain. And by default, computers are added to the computers are you, unless otherwise specified. And so you can see that we've got our demo PC right here. So that's all the different ways you can use to join a device to an Active Directory domain. Thanks for watching.